What is that? This? Yeah. This is uh, my B Epic. I don't know. I don't know how to hold it. I think it's called B Epic, but that's not what it says. What is this? So I take my. It's my trainer's got me taking it. It's this is the green one. It's full of a bunch of stuff. I don't really know what it is. Just ate spinach, broccoli, carrot, tomato. Yep. Talking mushroom, apple, cranberry. In like cherry, orange, three orange, seconds. Orange. Yep. Yeah. The, the blueberry is fantastic. So that gives you a lot of energy. I am here with my partner, Hannah, and John Dando, who owns Crawl Space Medic. John's in the BNI group I'm in. So BNI is a business networking organization. You get together, get to know each other, learn about each other's businesses. So I thought it'd be interesting to meet with John and talk about crawl spaces. Now I know what you're saying. Crawl spaces are not- It's a sexy business. <laughs> very it's sexy. Sexy. It's great. But before you tell us about your business, okay. we're gonna play a little trivia. Got it. I'm ready. Crawl space trivia. Got it. Question one. Okay. Who buried the most number of people in the crawl space? Hannibal Lecter, Will Smith, John Wayne Gacy, or Charles Manson? What about Jimmy Hoffa? Wait. This is the most. Okay. The most um, in one My space. guess would be Hannibal Lecter. Wrong. <laughs> That's John Wayne Gacy. 29 people. Oh, so we're we're fact check. They're good. Right, right, right. We're we'll gonna fact check. But well, you already lost, so but we'll keep going. <laughs> so how much air of the air you breathe in a house is actually from a crawl space? Yep. Is it 10%, 50%, or 90%? 50. There we go. Yeah, look, look at that. that. What's an acceptable humidity level in a crawl space? A hundred percent, ninety percent, seventy-five percent, or none of the above? Seventy-five. Well, there you go. Look yeah. at you. Yep. Yep. Knocking these or out below. Or, or below. Or below. 60 to 75. Is. is there a way to pass a termite inspection, which is required for some loans, with water in the crawl space? Yes or no? No. There we go. Okay, we've got a bonus question. Okay. If you get this one right, we'll forget about the first Okay. If you had a choice, one house to crawl or squat in, whose house would it be and why? Patrick O'Connor. <laughs> have you been I'm home? sure. No, I haven't. I haven't been in your crawl space. I have, oh, a, I have a beautiful crawl space. You do you have a beautiful crawl space. Got a couple questions for you. Yeah. But first, tell us like why Crawl Space Medic, what you got you interested in this and about your business. Yeah. So about eight years ago, um, Evan Wilson and I, he's my business partner. We There was a need in the market that we saw uh, for someone to specialize in crawl space repairs in the Midlands. And so that's how we built the business is, is getting homes ready to sell in the crawl space. And as we got into it, you realize there's just a massive need in subtropical climates like South Carolina. It's really the, what we call is the most important room in your house. Mm -hmm. uh, no one looks at it. There's no granite there, but all the main components and systems that run your house are there. Your air, your electric, your plumbing, anything you need to keep your house comfortable is really operated out of your crawl space. And don't you find that a lot of people, when there is an issue in the crawl space, they just want to ignore it. Just ignore it. Yeah. It's it's no big deal. There's been water under there forever. Correct. If your crawl space stays wet and moist over a long period of time, your wood rots. Mm -hmm. It's a conducive environment for termites, but you don't see it. So it's easy to ignore. But what happens the longer you ignore it, it becomes more and more expensive to repair. One thing I'll say is I've referred a lot of business. You've done a lot of business for my clients who have called me after. Hey, thank you for referring them. They were great. They were quick. They were clean. They were nice. So yep. obviously you you do more than just run a business. You're yep. a business leader. How do you go about finding your employees? Where do you find them? And yeah. is there a size limit for your employees since they're in crawl spaces or <laughs> no? You'd be surprised. Yeah. Some big fellas can maneuver around around crawl spaces, our goal is to service people by servicing their homes mm -hmm. in the crawl space. And the work's dirty and it's tough, but we want to create a culture where the main goal is to remember there's a family living upstairs. And that's helped us really attract the top trade talent in the Midlands over time. What are the things that people need to look out for yeah. when, you know, if you're not crawling under your crawl space, but if you see things in your house, you'll yeah. be like, maybe there's an issue. Yeah. the, the main thing I tell folks is if you have hardwood floors that begin to move and shift and cup, particularly on the edges, cupping this way, is typically an indication that you have a moisture problem under your home. Um, that would be that would be the big one. But also, 
like we talked about earlier, 50% of the air you breathe in your home is from the crawl space or your basement. And so if you smell, uh, start smelling a musty smell. I know I see a lot on the real estate end of it, toilet O-rings that have never yes. been replaced. Yep. And then it leads to just water. A whole lot of problems. Yes. Yeah. Long-term plumbing leaks wreak havoc in bathrooms, O-rings on the toilet, long-term dripping, which people don't have checked and it creates a lot of subfloor and joist damage, which we repair in, in bathrooms and kitchen where there's tiles. You know, Hannah's never been in a crawl space before. I think we should go in a crawl space today, Hannah. Well, we should find I'm gonna knock on a door, one. free inspection. Do we need a knock? Can we just go? <laughs> what comes to your mind when you think about a crawl space? Um, dirt. Yep. <laughs> a place I never want to go. It's really cool in the summer though. So tell, thing. tell us a little bit about, I know you are into a lot of different things, yep. but your other businesses. The umbrella business that I'm a partner in is called Home Brands. And uh, we do crawl spaces is the is sort of the grandfather brand. We have Punchless Pros, mm -hmm. which is in one of a couple of the BNIs, and that's a handyman service. Uh, Sunrise Electric, mm -hmm. which is residential electric repair. So anything someone has a problem in their house, this, my little switch is not working to full panel exchanges, we do that. Smart Home Hero, mm -hmm. which is one of our newest brands, which is home automation. So Eros, ring doorbells, Smart Home Automation, and then Dumpster Mule, which is a is a 15 yard dump trailer. You back up, throw your stuff in it, and we pull it off. Really? Yep, it's five brands down here in Columbia that we all operate um, out of the same shop. Should we get run out? Oh, oh boy. Uh oh. Oh, we're about to cause an accident. Here, let's just get, let's, <laughs> we'll cut. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Here we go. You get nervous. That was for the vlog. I'm yeah. not quite scared. <laughs>